Hello racers and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to do a review of the Lozy NASCAR optional spring tuning set part number LOS 1933. The reason I decided to do this video was that there was I noticed a lot of questions online about which springs are which rate in the bag. I do notice that the springs are rated in pound inches and it says that they are in this bag there are seven pound springs up to eleven pound springs. So I thought I would use my Zeppin spring gauge that I've done a few reviews used on a few other reviews and we can test these and within a five minutes we'll know the exact range and probably the quality of the springs as we go through it. So with that said, let's get in. I'm going to put these up here for a second. I'll plug in my spring tester. It's on a power supply. And I just let it zero. Now how the spring tester works is it measures the force applied to the spring. And you can see these three little bars here. That means it's measuring in pound inches. So we should see exactly the rates that these springs are in pound inches. I also found online this little chart that somebody made and I saw people say that the chart was inaccurate and that things weren't things weren't as they seemed so I thought well let's let's get a set of these springs and test them out. So first up let's test the the stock black springs that come with the car. And I'll just put them up in the top row just as to, to kind of keep track of. Now how I use this, you can see that the spring goes in in the holder there and you just simply compress it. There's an adjustment nut on the back for how high the spring is. So how I use this, is so I put my spring in, I loosen the nut and just take the play out of everything. Tighten it down so you can see that the spring is in there you know, firmly. I zero the gauge and then I compress the spring. And this says it's seven point let's just do it again here. Zero it. Compress it. Seven point eight two pound inches. So a stock spring is seven point eight two. Let's just test the other one to see how close they are in match. Always put them in, loosen the nut, put it in there. It's in there pretty good. Zero the gauge. This one is 7.86. So they're about a 7.8 pound spring, the stock ones. A little bit unbalanced, but maybe Maybe it's a little deficiency of the, I'll just put the first one in again, 7.81, yeah, so they're about the same, they're, they're out by a, a decimal point. With that said, let's open the bag and see what we have for springs. It's always exciting to try these new things, let's see what they're about. Okay, so on my little chart, it says the gray spring is a seven pound spring. So let's try that one. So since they're new, I just give them a little squish. Break them in ever so slightly. Put them in. Adjust the spring. Zero it. Compress it. This says 6.19. Let's just adjust it again. Maybe I have it in wrong. So the gray is in. It's tight. Is zeroed. Is compressed. 6.11. So that is a far cry from the seven pound spring. Let's try the other gray. There's the other gray here. Put it in the holder, zero it, it's 
6.10. So these ones here are very similar, but they're a six pound spring. Next, it says the white is an eight pound spring. We put the white in the tester. Let's put it in there so it's in there nice. Zero it. Compress the spring. 7.21. Now on this one, I forgot to give it a little compression. Give it a couple of squishes. Put it back in. Adjust. Zero. Compress. Seven one five. I'll just adjust that one. Seven one five. Okay, that's that white spring. Let's test the other white spring. A couple of compresses. Put it in the holder. Adjust. Zero. Seven point two two. Now I'm just doing these quick, but we're just getting an idea of what the spring rates are. 7.24 on the second test. Okay. So they're about a seven, seven pound and the, the chart says eight. Okay, next up, yellow says it should be a nine pound spring. Here are our yellows. Give them a little squish. Put them in the tester. Tighten it down. Just enough slack to hold it. It's a little bit tight. I usually like to see about, when they're in there tight, I like to see about 20. The 39 is a bit much. This says 7.74. So the eight pound, the nine pound spring is 7.74 pound inches. Let's try the other one. Put it in the holder. Zero it. Compress it. 7.65. Okay. So we can see that there is a bit of discrepancy between these springs. Yeah, 774. I'll just adjust that. I put it in again. 774. Okay, so they were fairly balanced when I tested them. Again, kind of doing it in a bit of a rush. The pink springs should be 10 pound springs. Give them a little squish. Just to kind of break them in very slightly. Okay. Into the tester. I just adjust so it's held in there. Zero it and compress. 6.41. So the pink one is actually 640.41, which I'm in a little bit of disbelief. So let's just take the let's just take this out, re-zero it at nothing. Put the little piece in, zero it with it in there. So that's hard to believe that this one is so far out. 6.40. Hmm. Okay. Put it back in the holder. Zero it. 6.39. So those are balanced, but they are not a 10 pound inch spring. 
Next, the reds are supposed to be an 11 pound spring. Let's get them apart here. They do feel stiffer, but usually what happens is a, is a spring with a lot of coils will be softer than a spring with less coils. Right, so that I would expect the gray one to be stiffer than the red. Let's just see if my experience holds true with these springs. So here's a red. Put it in. Zero it. Compress it. No, in this case, 9.77. Nine seven two. Usually a spring with many coils. Now there's two th two dimensions to a spring. The springs are the simplest things that there are on the car. It's just a coil of wire. But the difference in a spring is the number of coils, as we saw here. And then it's the thickness of the wire. So maybe this is a thickness of this wire is actually thicker. I would have to, to get out the calipers and check that. Okay, it's in there. Zeroed. Compressed. Nine, seven. I don't get why the number is changing. Nine seven zero. So these are definitely a nine pound inch spring. So this chart is definitely out. Let's take a look at our results. Now they're all in amongst a seven pound spring as we can see here. The stock was seven eight. And they're relatively consistent, 7.82 versus a 786. That was good. The gray, which I thought was a seven pound spring, which is a 6.1 pound spring, pound inches, I should say. The white spring is about a 7.2. So definitely softer than stock. The yellow, 7.4 the pink spring which should have been a 10 pound spring 6.4 that was a surprise and the red 11 pound spring is a 9.7 so on the package it says 7 to 11 and in this test there is no an 11 a pound 11 pound spring and Oddly enough, the pink was rated very low. Let's just double check the pink while we're here. Before we leave the video and come to our conclusion, put the pink spring in, adjust it in the holder, zero it, compress it. No, definitely 6.2. And that's what we kind of tested before, 6.4. So there you go, there you go. The Lozy Springs, NASCAR Springs are a little inconsistent. So for those that are going by the chart, or those who are thinking that one spring is stiffer than the other, I, I would advise you to recheck your springs. So with that said, if you like this type of thing, click like. Uh, if you have any comments or your experience, just put that in the comments below and Subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.